just write some keywords that will help you when you have to retell the thing that is summarize whatever you have heard now this is again a great way to think in english because when it's time to retell you will be thinking about what you have just heard and it's a great way to start thinking in english because when you'll try to remember what you have listened to you'll be thinking in english. hi everybody how are you all hope you're doing great and your english language learning is going great today i'm back with a very important topic that is thinking in english now thinking in english is one of the most important aspects of speaking fluent english i think you all must agree this is something that a lot of people find difficult how to think in english how to start thinking in english so this is one of those topics those hot topics that everyone wants to know about but the thing is that how to think in english what exactly do you need to do to think in english today i'm going to tell you three such techniques which will help you develop this habit of thinking in english do you want to know about them i'm shivangi gupta your celta certified english language tutor and you're watching speak english with shivangi before beginning please subscribe the channel so that you don't miss out any lesson that i post you get one english video lesson every day on this channel and if you find this video to be helpful please like it and share it with your friends now let's begin with the lesson thinking in english now thinking in english is a very important aspect of speaking fluently because when you are thinking in english you'll be able to articulate that is the way you speak in a better way your fluency will increase and the way you're forming sentences they will be more appropriate plus you'll be able to speak more about a particular topic or you'll be able to carry forward the conversation for much longer time in english now how to think in english see thinking in english is just not a habit it's a skill that we need to master i consider this a skill because thinking in english comes with time and practice yes believe me you can develop a habit of thinking in english and then you can become perfect at this particular skill which will help you increase your fluency now do you want to know those three techniques that i have today for you that will help you think in english okay let's talk about the techniques so the technique number 1 is the picture description now i've talked about the benefits of picture description before and i have told you how you can use this particular technique to practice your english speaking when you're alone so how to practice your english speaking but do you know this is a great way to start thinking in english too so the steps for picture description to think in english are a bit different than what are we going to take for speaking practice because our target here is different so in the last video i discussed about speaking practice target was different today target is to think in english so steps are going to differ a bit let's talk about this technique in details so first of all what you need to do step number 1 is select a picture you need to select a picture for that do you want to do it with me right now let's do it this is the picture you can see it on your right hand side so this is the picture now you have to talk about it no 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 you have to think in english you don't have to talk about it so another step is to analyze this picture observe everything in the picture pay attention to what is there each and every object okay think about every object everything in english look at the colors look at everything that is there maybe actions if any so you need to observe this particular picture for 1 minute now when you have observed it you have paid particular attention to the color 
to the theme to the objects what's going on now speak about it okay first form simple sentences or just talk about it what you can see in this picture let's talk about it it's a beautiful picture the sky is blue there are clouds i can see some birds the people look happy it appears that they are doing some morning walk they are relaxing there are trees it appears to be a morning scene so you have to describe everything that you see in this picture that you see in a picture describe everything in details speak about it out loud so you need to analyze everything what you can do is you can even break this step down if you think that speaking about this picture so much is difficult then you can break things down first of all speak single words for example blue sky green trees happy people a tall girl there are birds it appears to be a morning scene so speak about small small things like speak in a single word or maybe describe things separately after that it will be really easy for you to form all the sentences just like i did so whatever is coming to your mind you have to speak about the picture and this will help you in thinking in english why because when you're looking at the picture you are trying to think everything in english what is going on what is happening what's there in the picture we're speaking about it in english this is a great way to develop your thinking in english skills okay let's move on to the technique number 2 so the technique number 2 is daily routine narration well daily routine narration is a great way again to think in english without giving any extra time so this is something that you can do daily this is something that you can include in your day and without spending any extra time separate time so if you are really busy you have a tight schedule definitely use this technique because this is going to help you develop your ability to think in english without spending so much time okay daily routine narration now how to begin where to begin what you can do i suggest start with your morning routine think about your morning routine what you're going to do plan your day and then speak about it out loud so when you wake up in the morning you must have something in mind what are you going to do that day that particular day whether you're going to office or it's a holiday for you you must have some kind of idea how your day is going to go right and that is what you need to do plan your day right in the morning and when you're doing it think in english it's a great activity to develop your thinking power in english so for example you can plan your day in such a way today i have to reach office 15 minutes early because i have a very important presentation after giving my presentation in the morning uh, i would like to talk to my senior about the progress of the project that we are working on and i plan on going out for lunch with one of my colleagues because we want to talk and catch up after that in the evening i think i'll do some of my pending work that i was supposed to submit yesterday but i was not able to and i think after coming back to home i would like to watch a movie tonight so that way you're planning your whole day and you're thinking in english and then you're speaking in english too so either you can just think about it or if you really have time you can speak that out loud so you will be killing two birds with a single stone thinking in english and then doing your speaking practice isn't it great yeah that's a great way another thing that you can do is apart from your uh, planning the day what you can do is you can talk about your daily activities what you're doing that also comes in daily routine narration so for example uh, you can talk about what you have done in the day in the evening you can just summarize your whole day what you have done in the day okay you can say today i woke up early i had some time so i did 
some of the yoga that I wanted to do. When I reached office, there was a meeting going on and we talked a lot about the ongoing project. After that, today, all of us had a great lunch party and I enjoyed a lot with my colleagues. So that way, you are describing your whole day. And that is a great way, again, to think in English. That's a great way to start thinking in English because you're thinking about your daily routine, the things that you are doing. And when you inculcating English in your daily processes, it becomes easy for you to think in English. It's a great way to think in English. Start doing it. Okay, last technique for the day. That is technique number three. So technique number three is listen and retell. Now this is not just listening. You're not just listening. You have to retell. Now what is retell? See, listen is like you're listening to something because listening is very important. Listening is something that helps you in thinking in English because how are you going to think in English if you really don't know a lot of English words, sentences. So listening exposes you to a range of vocabulary, to a range of sentence structures. Basically, listening exposes you to the real English, real usage of English. And that's very important. So the first step in this procedure, basically, listen and retell is that you select a good audio. It can be anything. It can be a video on YouTube, not necessarily an educational video. It can be any video, something related to your topic of interest. Maybe it can be a video of your uh, favorite vlogger, chef, whatever. It must be in English. Okay, remember, we're talking about English. So it must be in English. It can be about a talk show. It can be an interview, whatever you like, select a video on YouTube. There are ample and ample of topics out there on YouTube, select something. Otherwise, you can select a podcast, you can select a TV show, but that's going to be really lengthy. So I suggest keep it short, crisp, 15 minutes, 20 minutes, that's it. Listen to the thing. Now, when you're listening, pay attention to what people are saying okay pay attention to whatever is being said in the audio if you want you can even make small notes just write some keywords that will help you when you have to retell the thing that is summarize whatever you have heard now this is again a great way to think in english because when it's time to retell you will be thinking about what you have just heard and it's a great way to start thinking in English because when you try to remember what you have listened to you'll be thinking in English because whatever you have listened to that was in English isn't it that's why it's a great way to develop this habit of thinking in English so once you're done with the listening think about it for some minute revise it in your head and then you can either speak everything out loud or if you're not comfortable speaking everything out loud once retell everything in your mind just think about it silently summarize whatever you have listened to in your own words using your own words you don't have to just exactly say all the sentences no it should be in your own words that's the key point use your own words retell is you're telling it. It's not you're copying the speaker. You don't have to copy the speaker. No. Retail means you have to use your own words, your style, your way of speaking, your way of thinking, your way of forming the sentences. But this activity is going to improve this a lot. So please do that. Speak everything out loud and see the change it's going to bring to your English and your process of thinking in English. So these were the three techniques through which you can think in English and become fluent in English because we all want to become a fluent English speaker, don't we? So adopt these three techniques and definitely you will start thinking in English. That's it for today. That was the lesson. Now I'm going to see you tomorrow. Till then, take care and bye.